In a bid to provide early education on money, management and entrepreneurship, NetBank is launching a game called Chow Town on Roblox, a platform popular with the target group of children between the ages of 9 and 12. For more on this now, we're joined by NetBank's Group Executive for Marketing and Corporate Affairs, and that's um, Kinsani Nobanda. And Kinsani, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. You know, I keep hearing, if, if you're in business and you're not in gaming or using gaming in some way, shape or form, you might as well close your doors, because if you're not doing something in that direction, you're not looking to the future. Um, how did NetBank or your department decide that this was way, the way to go, and especially to start speaking to people, kids as young? young as nine years old. Yeah, I think for us, um, it's very clear, right, from a long-term perspective, if you want to build long-term client value, um, it's best to start speaking to young people from a you know, younger age. And you can't obviously have the same conversation with them as you'd have with a much older adult. So for us, Chow Town um, being a game, I think it was a very good opportunity in terms of really starting to teach kids about managing money from a very young age. Um, I don't know, I mean, you would know for, I mean, I was never taught how to manage money from a young no. age, but we believe that. <laughs> exactly. So we believe that using a game like Chow Town enables us to be able to do that. Yeah, financial literacy is a very serious issue for, for people who actually earn money. And we, we hear it all the time. We see the research and the surveys all the time. And as we live with a cost of living crisis, um, those inadequacies are coming more and more to the fore. And yet these are the people who in their homes and in their communities need to be uh, educating children and saying, don't do as we do, do as we say. But, but how do we do that if we don't have the tools and, and, and the education a, as adults? Uh, and they have to have this conversation. I've, I've even discovered that there aren't even a lot of children's books written about money management, and, and especially not in different languages. How important is the language and the way that we speak about money management and indeed entrepreneurship to children? Yes, I mean, I mean firstly, let me tell you about Chow Town because I think it will answer your question. Yeah. So it's, it's almost like a business style game through which as a, as a child, you can open a virtual restaurant. I um, mean, it's a virtual restaurant, which is a very definite South African flavor. The restaurant itself offers you a combination of uniquely South African international foods, such as Purvis rolls. So what you do as a child is you basically make those, um, you know, Purvis rolls, you make that food and you serve to guests. And obviously, as you serve to guests, you make money. Mm. Um, as, as your restaurant progresses, you unlock new food tiers. You have to think about how do I expand my restaurant? So all of this, you're playing a game, but at the same time, you're actually learning how to start and grow a business as well as how to manage your money in a, you know, much better. I think for me, it's the better way of being able to start teaching young kids um, how to, one, talk about money, because before you even talk about managing money, to be honest, even just talking about money is something that's fairly, I think, not done um, in, in our society. Yeah. Uh, and hopefully with the game like this, we really hope that as you want to win, you know, Chow Town and become the one with the most successful restaurant, that yeah. the tips and the tricks that you learn along the way will stay you in, in good state for the long term. I've often heard the criticism that entrepreneurship isn't in our blood as South Africans and that when you travel, especially on the continent, um, you see all kinds of entrepreneurship on the streets um, uh, and in communities at grassroots level. And it's just part and parcel of how people are brought up in, in those other countries and that we don't have that here. What has been your experience in, um, in education and marketing at the same time when it comes to entrepreneurship in South Africa? Wow, I actually think um, it's so far from the truth. I think in our country, I guess um, it depends on what you articulate entrepreneurship to be. But I think Indeed. for me, the person who knows how to spot how to spot an opportunity, how to take advantage of, of that opportunity, and hopefully be able to you know get some income out of that opportunity, is for me someone who thinks entrepreneurially. Um, and you can do that, by the way, whether you work in a business or you work for yourself and you build your own business. I think South Africans are actually fairly entrepreneurial. And I guess if you just look at the economic well-being of our country, 
it really depends on our ability to develop a new generation of, of entrepreneurs who can really be able to grow startups that are not like just one man shop because maybe that's the one criticism I would get I would give is that potentially a lot of the people who play in small businesses in South Africa are own are not employing a lot of people and I think for the economy we need you know, businesses that employ a number of people. Um, because I think when we develop that new generation of entrepreneurs who really can grow startups into viable job creating businesses, I think they'll play a much bigger role in the growth of the GDP of our country. Uh, just before I let you go, um, uh, Ken Sani, I suppose the hope would be that through um, going the gaming route with Chowtown, not only are you planting seeds with a really, really young market who I mean, let's call a spade a spade, will hopefully become clients of NetBank later on when they open their first little bank <laughs> accounts. But also we know that kids talk at home. You know, teachers said this and I saw this at school and we should be recycling and we should be doing this. I suppose there is the hope that what they're learning at this game, they talk about at home and in some way, shape or form start influencing uh, the home purses as well. Absolutely. And I think I think for a lot of parents, the, the idea of gaming seems a little bit scary, right? You're not entirely sure about the safety, uh, you know, and security mm. and all of this. I think, firstly, you know, some of the people we've partnered with, both Roadblox and Sea Monster, who developed the game with us, we've put in a lot of security measures in place to ensure that parents aren't worried. Um, I don't know if you know this, but just gaming in Africa is expected to grow at an yeah. annual rate of 12% between 2023 and 2028. Um, so I actually think the, the 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 mobile penetration on this continent is really going to continue to drive the gaming um, revolution. So what that then means is that all of a sudden you've got young kids who probably know a lot of things more better and more than their parents. Indeed. So hopefully as they have that conversation about building their businesses, building their little chow town, you know, um, brought to the Bionet Bank, that their, their parents are able to learn as well in that conversation. Because I do think, you know, obviously learning comes from, you know, a number of areas. We already know that Roblox is incredibly popular amongst children aged between nine and 12. Um, but I think for parents, it's going to be such a level of, um, I guess, you know, it'll give them a relaxed state of mind knowing that actually what they're doing on the gaming is learning about entrepreneurship, learning about, you know, making good money choices and really offering them an educational experience. So, of course, you know, if it leads mom and dad as well as the <laughs> child to bank with us, you know, that obviously, you know, what we do as a bank. Um, but also, you know, what I do hope happens as well is people actually realize just digital we've become as a bank. Um, I think, you know, we had a campaign last year sort of talking about how there's a new bank that's launching with all these digital assets. And when it was revealed, we revealed that actually it was NetBank and showing just how all of our digital journeys have, all of our journeys from a client perspective have been digitalized. The, you know, all the digital stuff that we've launched the last couple of years. And I think Roblox is just that one proof point that shows just how digital we've become as a brand. Fascinating stuff. I've learned something new today. I've just got a two-year-old, so this is all stuff that I have to start <laughs> looking forward to and researching. That's Ken Sani Nobanda Absolutely. from NetBank. She is the group <laughs> executive for marketing and corporate affairs at NetBank, talking to us about their new game, Chow Town, uh, which is on the platform Roblox, which is very popular amongst 9 to 12-year-olds. Uh, and they're hoping to really start kids talking about entrepreneurship and money management. Sounds very, very positive indeed.